we are going to find the power series expansion for the function 2 over 3 minus x. And once again, we are going to use our best friend. But then we have to match our form first before we can do anything else. Here we have the 2, but the best friend told us that we want the 1 on the top. It's okay, let's do this as 2 times 1. So we have the 1 to work with. Our best friend wants us to have the 1 right here, but here we have the 3. So what we can do is, we can factor out the 3. It's on the denominator, so we can put this down as 2 over 3. But then, on this right here, it's going to be 1 over... Originally, we have the 3. We factor out this 3, so we have the 1 now. That's good. Really good. The minus stays the same. That's excellent. But then, originally, we only have the x. I factor the other 3, so we have to divide it by 3. Instead of x, we will have x minus 3. And now let me put this in a, like a parentheses. And if you distribute the 3 into here and into here, we get back to the original. So this is the necessary change that we can do. Alright, and it's pretty much just like a 2 over 3 all the way in the front. This is the place that we can apply our best friend. And you can just plug in x over 3 into all this x to write it out the expanded version. And I can do that right here real quick. This is 2 over 3 times, this is going to be this, where the x is going to be x over 3. We have 1 first, plus instead of x, we have x over 3, plus instead of x, we have x over 3 in the parentheses, and then raised to a second power, so we have d like this. Right? And then plus x over 3, to the third power, and then it keeps on going forever. And if you want to really have a nice expanded form, just multiply out everything and then distribute the one third at the end. I mean, not the one third, I mean two thirds at the end. That's fine, I'll let you do that. But I will just work with the condensed format, which is this right here. We have the two over three alone in the front, just put it down. This is a place I can apply our best friend. I just need to plug in x over 3 into this x. So we have sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity. And I'll open the parentheses first and then plug in x over 3. And then raise to the nth power. And then I will work with the exponent right here. This is the same as 2 over 3 sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity. This is like 1 over 3 times x inside of the parentheses. So we have 1 over 3 to the nth power first. And now put down the x to the n power on the side. And if you would like, we can do slightly more. I can multiply the 2 over 3 into the parentheses, in, not into this right here, not like parentheses, into the sigma notation. This is the same as n is equal to 0 to infinity. The numerator we have is 1 to the nth power, which is always 1 anyways. 2 times 1 is 2. Over. Bottom, we have 3 to the nth power. And then we have one more 3 that's going to be multiplied inside. So look at this is 3 to the nth power on the bottom, right? Multiply with 3 to the first. We add the exponents. So we have 3 to the n plus 1 exponent. And then x to the nth power on the side. And now this is the form. That's all. And now let's worry about the radius and also the interval of convergence. Our best friend says the original version is that this is only true for absolute value of x is less than 1. And the x is, we are talking about is this x, right? But then we plug in x over 3 instead. So I will say this is true. Let me just put it down here. Only for the absolute value of x over 3 because we were doing algebra we're plugging x over 3 into our best friend so I'm plugging x over 3 right here as well same thing I'm just following the same format this is going to be less than 1 the 1 is not a radius convergence though we have to isolate the absolute value of x this is the same as saying 1 over 3 times the absolute value of x which is less than 1 by looking at this, we can multiply both sides by 3, so we, we see that we have absolute value of x is less than 3. 
And by looking at this inequality, we know that the radius convergence is equal to 3. And for the interval convergence, once again, because it came from our best friend, the best friend didn't include the endpoints. And then we were doing algebra only. We're just plugging x over 3. The center is at 0. And we know that because the radius convergence is 3, we go to left 3 units, go to the right 3 units. This is going to be negative 3 and positive 3. Once again, we do not include endpoints because it came from our best friend. Anything inside will be fine. And let me emphasize, we don't include endpoints by using the parentheses. We only need to worry about checking the endpoints if we use our best friend and along with our integration or differentiation. The interval of convergence, we have to check the endpoints when we do that. But this is it.